Hi everyone, I'm Alex Sigurds here with Aving News, reporting from CES 2025 in Las Vegas. I've been walking around seeing some amazing companies and seeing some of the cool technologies of the future, of, of now, things that we are able to implement into our daily lives. Now, some of it is what you would expect, something like a phone, right? But a lot of it has to do with our safety, especially in an aging society. So today, we're gonna to talk to Keith Lee, who's gonna give us a little bit of input on one of his award-winning products. Let's go ahead and bring him in right now. Thanks for joining us. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you doing? Good, so excited to be here, honored to get the awards. Yeah. Everything's going great. Oh, awesome, so Holmes AI, uh, can you first introduce your company to us? Okay, so um, CL Holmes is a digital health uh, diagnostic platform uh, developed by Holmes AI, and it can it uses artificial intelligence to detect and prevent heart disease at an early stage. Yeah. And we're currently expanding and we just got the innovation awards and things are going great. Okay, uh, let's talk about the product. Let's dive into it a little bit. And mm -hmm. because it's the award you got was accessibility in age tech, right? Yes. Uh, and so I know it's really hard to get these awards, so congrats on that, of course. Thank you. Uh, but uh, let's talk about it in general. What is the age group we're talking about? Because my family mm -hmm. has a history of heart disease. Right. So I, from the age of 38, mm -hmm. I think my grandpa had his first heart attack, which is mm -hmm. crazy. Right. What is your demographic? Who are you selling to? What, what is the product? Uh, we're, of course, we're currently aiming for senior citizens. Is at most earliest age, we could start from 40s mm -hmm. and up to 80s, 90s. And this uh, smart patch. So this is it right here. Right here. Cool. Uh, this smart patch it applies to your chest area and it can detect your, it can monitor and detect your heart rhythm and heart, and it, it can also uh, prevent your uh, heart disease problems. Wow, and how does it just like stick, sticks onto your body basically? Yes, you could apply for seven, uh, seven days yeah. and then it detects your heart rhythm, oxygen saturation, mm -hmm. blood pressure and heart rate and monitors for seven, uh, seven days. And with that uh, data, we could we use our AI technology yeah. to prevent and detect 21 types of cardiac arrhythmias and diagnose from our side. That's amazing. Right. Okay, so this is a B2 B model? Yes, mostly. So are you selling to hospitals currently. or aging facilities? Yes, yeah, mostly to hospital, primary care doctors, or um, health checkup centers. Yeah. And what is, where's your status now? You're in Korea, you're going abroad, what, where is your product yeah. being sold or uh, tested? Currently, our headquarters in Korea, so South Korea. And then this year, we're actually planning to um, expand our, uh, make our subsidiary in Boston and pursue uh, FDA certification. Wow. And also next, uh, later this year, we're trying to expand to Southeast Asia, yeah. where there's a shortage, shortage of um, healthcare infrastructure. Yeah. So by using this device, we can uh, access to people, uh, health data, and diagnose from our platform. No, oh, absolutely. So this is a great way of, of kind of seeing where the future is heading, and, and not just in aging technology, but aging, you know, uh, I don't want to say death prevention, that sounds terrible. Mm -hmm but at right. least predicting some of these diseases that a lot of us, myself included, are probably going to be facing in the near future. You, uh, you mentioned that you're going abroad and, and, and you're selling here. What is your goal? You know, I know you've got a busy mm. schedule. You're going to be right. leaving CS even a little early, Right. but you're here. Are you going to be just enjoying yourself and walking around? Mm. Are you doing interviews? Are you meeting investors? What's your goal this couple of days you're here? Uh, first, First of all, we came to see you guys here. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> and our next goal is to walk around and see potential investors or hospitals or any uh, health-related companies to see if there's anything we can uh, you know, make business with them yeah. and sell our products. Certainly a lot of companies out there from not only the U.S. but all over the world. So right. the networking opportunities here mm -hmm. are pretty amazing. Uh, so again, congratulations on the award. I think what you've got is it, a simple device. Like I, I don't understand how it works, but it's simple. It solves a problem, and it's really something that in the future we're going to need something just like this. Right. So congrats on all of that. And uh, thank you. That's 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 it, Keith. Thank you. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we close out? Uh, oh yeah. Um, congratulations on your 20th anniversary covering CES. Thank you. Uh, I wish I've been here 20 years, but the team has certainly been here all 20 years. Right. And it's been. Uh, pleasure to be a part of that for the last couple of years and to meet people like you and to meet some of these technologies that are going to be probably on my body in the next 20 years. Hopefully.
Oh, no, I don't want it to be that sick. <laughs> oh, that means. <laughs> Thank you so much, Keith Lee. Thank you so much. CSO. Uh, it's great to have these people come on our show here with Aving at CES. Check out their products, check out their uh, company, and we'll see you in just a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, man. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Cool.